role of money. It's always been important, but it's much bigger today. Financial world has become twice as big as it was 15 or 20 years ago. It's grown enormously, and they clearly are politically much more powerful than they used to be. Huge profits for a very few people. Where has that money really gone? Into the pockets of the contractors. And where did the money come from? The public. Their tax dollars have just been poured into this. Tax dollars are supposed to be meant to serve the people. There's a disconnect. There's a couple things that are obvious. First of all, war is not about conflict resolution. It does not resolve conflict. We know how to resolve conflict. War is not about national security. It does not create national security. We know how to create national security. This refurbishment, it's a jobs program, a way of keeping people employed. They have to have, have something for Los Alamos to do, and so they pay huge amounts of money to refurbish the warheads. It's a great industry for themselves. It does not serve the American people. The incredible commitment that too many members have to building more nuclear weapons when we don't have any targets anymore. And some people just think of the defense budget as a jobs bill. No, it should just be what enhances our security. And if you can't justify it on that basis, you just can't maintain it um, because it adds to the instability on the planet. What is a war about? From all the wars I participated in and all the wars I've studied, one thing became very clear to me. In every single one of them, a few people made a massive amount of money or got a great deal of power. And if that is the one constant salient feature, why do we refuse to consider that that's the cause? They're a business that responds to customers. They respond to orders. They're getting orders to build bombs, bombers. And those orders come from Congress. The ultimate question, who decides here? If we still have a democratic system, we decide. Now, if we bail out, which is what we're doing, and pass the buck to other people, which we've usually done also, uh, but we're doing it to a degree that is, I think, un is unusual. Take the $7.6 billion, the cost of the new uranium processing facility at Oak Ridge. In the end, it's really going to be 22 over a period of 10 or 12 years. Now, what can we do with $22 billion?